How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be doing another career simulation. This time, it's going to be the Atlanta Braves outfielder, the Rookie of the Year winner last year, Ronald Acuna Jr. So if you guys want to see some more career simulations, let me know in the comments section down below who should be next. Hit that like button. That's the easiest way for me to know if you guys are enjoying these videos or not. And as always, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. So without further ado, let's get into this, this video. I think this is going to be a really good one. He's a young outfielder, crazy amount of talent. It looks like he's the real deal. Even this year, he's hitting, I think, 285. Um, he's he, he looks like he's going to be the real deal. And, like, I'm, I'm really excited and I'm really happy that we are getting to watch a young player develop into what looks like is going to be an all-star and potentially a Hall of Famer. So with this, we are going to let the CPU handle everything like we did um, the Fernando Tatis career simulation. Um, the only thing I do take control of is the lineup, um, but like scouting, free agents, whatever. Everything else is left alone. Actually, we'll let the lineup be handled by the, C the CPU as well. Um, so Ronald Acuna Jr. is a 91 overall, uh, a potential 21-year-old left fielder. You guys can see his hitting stats through the roof already. I I expect to see all 99s in this category. Fielding-wise, he definitely could use some improvement. He's got some good speed already. And then looking at his stats from last year, you can see he had 293, had 26 home runs, 64 RBIs, 127 hits. I'm, I'm excited to see what numbers he will finish his career with. So if you're new to these videos, we usually go first seat the next like the first season we simulate we take a look at his year see how he did and then we go and then stop at the fifth season then the 10th season 15th season until they retire so we kind of do increments of five years and really the only time we stop is if they win a world series or they win some type of award just to kind of mention what's going on throughout his career so without any further ado we've looked at the lineup we obviously know he's part of the braves organization let's get into it Let's see how he does. Ready, season one comes to a close. They finished one game behind the Phillies in the East, but they were a wild card team, um, the Braves, obviously. So let's see if he was a league leader. Acuna had the best slugging percentage in the majors. Did he win an award? Doesn't look like it. Bryce Harper got the MVP. So let's take a look at Acuna's stats, see how he did. He is a 99 overall already after one season. He's already a 99. Look at those stat increases. He looks unreal. Let's look at his stats for the season. 160 hits, 38 doubles, 10 triples, 44 home runs, 119 RBIs, a 300 average, 382 on base percentage, 655 slugging, and a 1.038 OPS. Unreal. If he keeps this up, he is going to be and Hall of Famer without a doubt. So obviously I mentioned that the Braves made the playoffs. Let's quickly take a look, see how they do in the wild card. They advance moving on against the Dodgers. They beat the Dodgers as well. Let's see if they advance against their divisional opponents, the Phillies. And in the first season, the Braves are headed to the World Series. Take it on the Mariners. Okay. And they won the World Series 4-2 to two, uh, series. Let's see if he won any awards. The playoff MVP was Freddie Freeman. And it looks like the World Series MVP was Freddie Freeman as well. Let's take a look and see how Acuna did in the playoffs. Four home runs, 15 RBIs, and a 313 average. I think this might just be... No, that's, that's the whole playoffs. So throughout the whole playoffs, four home runs, 15 RBIs, and a 313 average. So in the playoffs, he did quite well and already in his second season in the bigs he's won a world series so so far so good for ronald acuna jr i will see you guys at season five unless he wins an award sometime in between the two of those season five has come to an end you guys can see the braves finished on top of the east any league leaders for acuna no it doesn't look like it maybe an award no Okay, so no awards, no league leading stats. You guys can see the team for the Braves just to give you a little insight on what the CPU has done for the team. It actually looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the lineup as well. I mean, the CPU is really put together, 
put together a super team here in Atlanta. Let's take a look at Acuna stats through five seasons of this simulation. Obviously, this will be season six in his career, but uh, you guys can see what he's done so far. His lowest RBI number in a few seasons, but still a 304 average, 392 on base percentage, 592 slugging, and a 984 OPS, 167 hits, 38 home runs, 32 doubles, definitely not numbers to be like worried about at all he is crushing it um had a bounce back year from the previous year and this is the second year that the braves have made the playoffs so last year they made it this year they made it and obviously they won the world series the first season that we simulated but they had a, they had a brief period where they didn't make the playoffs for two seasons so they um they are in the playoffs again but acuna is putting up solid numbers through six seasons in the majors he has 223 home runs, 887 hits, and 610 RBIs. So, so far, so good. Let's take a look and see how they do in the playoffs going against the Reds. And they got swept by the Reds, unfortunately. Let's take a quick look, see how Acuna did in the playoffs. Ooh, not good at all. An 83 average. So, his bat went pretty cold in the playoffs so oh man that's unfortunate to see but um he's st he's still putting up crazy good numbers so let's let's get through this season and let's uh see you guys at season 10 you guys got a little look and see how acuna is doing through five simulated seasons as well as a um sixth year of his career so so far so good i'm excited to see what he does with the rest of his career Alrighty, so season seven of the simulation, the Braves won the World Series. Let's take a look to see who won the awards. Uh, Michael Franco was the MVP and Acuna Jr. was the World Series MVP. And let me tell you something, you're going to be surprised when you see his season stats because this is a completely different Acuna than the regular season Acuna. 462, four home runs and nine rbis in the world series so that's that's awesome to see that uh he kind of had a bounce back season because you guys can see he's dropped to a 91 overall when not too long ago he was a 99 looking at his stats 219 average 278 on base percentage you know half of the home runs 40 less rbis hits went down by 40 it just looked like he just had a really rough season so hopefully he can bounce back in the you know after that great postseason that he had world series mvp and uh we'll, we'll have to see because i i'd hate for a 27 year old all-star you know like world series mvp now to just completely fall off after one bad season so hopefully he can bounce back um like i said this was seven season seven of the sim and eight in his career we'll double check two three four five six seven eight yeah so eight so far of the real life career seven of the sim let's get into the rest of this the, the years next time i'll see you will most likely be season 10. season 10 and as you guys can see the braves did pretty poorly in the east they haven't made the postseason since that world series title so let's take a look at the team kind of look at the players and also acuna it's looking like he's starting to bounce back after that rough season and oh yeah he definitely has um, two, 297, 296, 292 average, 29 homers with 100 RBIs, 41 homers with 99 RBIs, and 35 home runs with 80 RBIs. Solid hit numbers as well, 160, 157, 158, and uh, his numbers have definitely come back, and he looks like he's, he's finding his stride and just hit the age of 30. You guys can see uh 1653 hits along with 398 home runs just too shy of that 400 club he also has 149 stolen bases a career average of 284 so i mean the stats the stats are looking good he is going into free agency this year so it'll be interesting to see if the braves bring him back if the braves can bring him back i don't know how the the budget's looking like i said i let the cpu handle everything so it'll be kind of interesting to see what happens with the Cunha, where he goes. I mean, he's he's going to be one of the best free agents this year. So let's see what happens. And I'll see you guys probably at the start of season 11 just to see where Acuna goes. And then unless anything changes, I'll see you guys at season 15. So 
Acuna has gone to the Chicago White Sox for seven years, 129.9 million. I mean, 31 year old, 94 overall. So I was guess I was wrong with the just turned 30 party, just turned 31. So I mean, I guess he's uh, he's headed to the south side of Chicago, and uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on him in the American League now. So the first season. Without Acuna, the Braves had a very rough one, 64 and 98. Let's go take a look and see how the White Sox did in their division. Let's see here. White Sox got second, finished 23 games back in the Central. Definitely not wild card potential either. Let's see if he had a uh, a league leading stat anywhere. Doesn't look like it, so I'm hoping. He didn't have a bad season and starts to fall off. So let's let's take a look. See how he did. Let's take a look at this White Sox lineup as well. And let's see. He's still a 94. And I mean, the White Sox team doesn't look too bad. But let's take a look at his first season in the American League. 32 home runs, 91 RBIs, 138 hits, three thir or 33 uh, doubles, um, 256 average. So a little bit of a dip. But overall, you know, pretty consistent with what he's kind of been doing around 30, 35 home runs, kind of the same thing. So, I mean, he's at 430 home runs for his career, almost 2,000 hits, kind of. He's about 209 hits short of 2,000. So, I mean, he's putting up good numbers. He's just, the teams recently just haven't been living up to it. Can't really hit the playoffs. I think he's at four seasons now in a row without a playoff appearance which is a little disappointing. So we'll keep an eye on him. I'll see you guys at season 15. Alrighty, so the first award besides the playoff or the World Series MVP for Acuna, and that is a Hank Aaron Award in his second season with the White Sox. You can see the Braves. That is probably one of the worst seasons I have ever seen. Let's take a look at the White Sox. Last in their division, and they were 80 and 82. But let's go take a look at Acuna's numbers since he looks like he had a pretty solid season. So, 96 overall at the age of 32, 111 RBIs, 39 home runs, 174 home uh, hits, 174 hits. That might be his best ever. So, great numbers to see. 37 doubles and a 325 average with a 409 on base percentage, 6 39 slugging and a 1.048 OPS unreal numbers to see with those numbers he might have some league leading stats so let's take a look and see if he's got any league leading stats I would assume the OPS is probably one slugging and OPS he had league leading stats there so unfortunately no playoffs once again but he's still putting up crazy good numbers I it's crazy to think about like he's he's gonna keep going for a while I already know it and when you look at his stats he's almost at 500 home runs he's just short of 2,000 hits man these numbers at the end of his career are gonna look nice so that was season 12 season 13 of his career and um, I'm interested to see where we're at for the 15th year in the career sim already 15th season of the simmed career again no playoffs for Acuna I think this is year eight or nine in a row without him making the playoffs so you guys can see he had the best batting average in the American League any other stats that he led the league in um, OPS with a 999 and then awards that means he got the batting title if he had I'm assuming, yeah, he got the batting title as well. He hit 327 on the year, which is really good. That's a really good average. So let's go see what his stats were with this Chicago White Sox team. Obviously, you can see it's not the best of teams at all. He's dropped down to an 84 overall, uh, more of a contact hitter now. And you guys can see the stats. Even, even though he doesn't have a lot of power, he still hit 36 home runs which is pretty impressive 107 RBIs last couple seasons he's been hitting the ball very well 312 295 
327 this year with a 402 on base percentage, a solid slugging percentage of 597, um, 173 hits, 31 doubles. You know, he had 187 hits a couple seasons ago. So he's really putting up some solid numbers. Just short of 2,500 hits in his career. He has 572 home runs, 1,600 RBIs. Whew, he's putting up some solid numbers, even though his overall is starting to dip. Um, he's got, what, two more years after this year on his contract? And then uh, he probably will play for like another two or three seasons after his contract runs out with the White Sox. So who knows where he'll end up. I definitely see him hitting um, close to 3,000 hits. He's At this rate, he's going over 600 home runs. It's just what number is he going to finish at? So again, that is season 15, the batting title, as well as the league leader in a couple stats. But nothing too crazy in terms of awards for him we still have yet to get a mvp with him so i think that time has passed i really don't see him getting a mvp he has that world series mvp but he hasn't been to the playoffs since that season which is kind of disappointing to see so let's see how it turns out um for the rest of his career now all right in the 18th season we're gonna see something a little bit a little saddening ronald acuna jr is not on a team his contract with the White Sox ran out, and currently he sits at 2781 for hits, 612 home runs. He has more home runs than doubles. He has 1,771 RBIs and a career average of 289. So some really solid numbers. I'm actually kind of tempted just to sign him to the Braves just to see how he would do for another season or two. Um, but I feel like that's kind of tampering with the, uh, career sim a little bit, but, uh, you know what? I mean, compared to these other guys and like looking at these Braves team, they probably could use another outfielder. So, you know what? Let's, let's do a, let's do a two year deal. What's the worst that could happen, right? Roster's full. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to do a two years just to kind of see how things go. You never know something something could go good or something could go bad you know what he he doesn't need a team anymore i think acuna would be a little bit more helpful so i know i said i wouldn't interfere with with anything but let's let's test it out see how things go for two more seasons um i'm kind of intrigued to see how the career will finish maybe just maybe um he can sneak in and get another 200 hit 300 hits you know, to get that 3,000 hits in his career with 3,000 hits, 600 home runs, that's Hall of Fame for sure. So let's see how Ronald Acuna's career finishes off. All righty. So we are past season 20. I think we're at 21 now in the sim. So that means 22 seasons for Acuna. And we have him retiring in 2039 at the age of 42, 51 overall. And he hasn't played in the last two seasons, but the uh, the two season or the two year contract that we signed him for at the Braves were his last two seasons. So you can see his final stats are right here: an average of 287 for his career, a total of 252 stolen bases, 1,887 RBIs, 646 home runs, 659 doubles, and 3,000. 37 hits crazy numbers unreal numbers 3,000 hits automatically puts you into the hall of fame like no doubt about it on top of that he hit 646 home runs those two numbers are crazy he almost had as many home runs as he did doubles he was almost a career 300 hitter those are just unreal numbers and you can see you know his, his career has finally come to an end it was it was a long career it was a good career and let's see if he made the Hall of Fame. Of course he did. There's no way he wouldn't. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. The year is 2039. Acuna finally retires. And these are his, his stats to look at. Just crazy numbers. The fact that he hit almost 650 home runs. He topped 3,000 hits. That's just amazing to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this career sim. 
for Acuna Jr. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. And of course, you guys got to let me know in the comment section who to do next. There's definitely plenty of players to do. I'm always looking in the comment section to see who's next. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.